Hi guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Pisces. I'm going to get myself through this one. Got the water. Okay. Guys, I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with Pisces energy. Hey Pisces. Hope everything is going okay. Alright, let's see what's up with you. Ancestors. Pisces energy, please. Ooh, okay. That one came right out. Ooh. Scorpio. Mm. Pisces intensity, exposing, purging, and renewing. Mm. Yes. Yes, you're taking some time to think and try and... I don't know. Maybe you guys have this way, like exposing. I think this has to do with yourself. I think this is about you cleansing yourself and taking time. Mm, intensity. I think you're dealing with yourself emotionally. Cardinal. Instigation. Bravery. And the pioneering spirit. Mm -hmm. You guys are looking into a new project. There's some idea that you have or had. I think for some of you, you may be further along in this process. And I feel like you may have started doing something already. Mutable. Mm, surrender. Fluidity. And welcoming change. Ooh, I know you're excited. Little oh, Pisces. You're like, dang. I've been fussing and fighting and ranting and raving and wasting my emotions on nonsense. Don't do it. Pointless. This is a new you. I feel like you guys have been in transformation for a little while, to be honest with you. And I kind of feel like you're coming to understand it in its entirety. It's kind of like the pieces of the puzzle finally fit. That was for another reading, but but you understand what I'm saying? The pieces finally fit like they flow. And I think you're starting to understand yourself. And I think you're welcome in this change. And I think you may have been opposed to change before for whatever reasons. It could have been stubbornness. Okay, I'm going to put these over here, just so you guys can see them, okay? Alright, I'm going to have some water. Alright, Pisces. Pisces, we have five of pentacles here. So this talks about you recognizing that, hey, I might not be the best with money, or maybe my finances are a little bit all over the place. But you're looking to, all right, you're being advised, you need to get your financial house in order, all right? If you're in debt, and that's what this card really does mean, like, it's debt. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's losses, it's debt. So get yourself out of that. We have the Empress energy here, so this could be you kind of like hoping to expand something or at one point you were hoping to expand something you wanted um, maybe a relationship to expand you wanted something to I think you expected it to grow and it did not grow not even at the pace I just think it straight up turned out to be a completely different way from what you thought that's what I'm getting out of this there was something that you were hoping to expand. This could also talk about pregnancy, but there's expression growth groups, right? So somebody could be pregnant or looking to get pregnant, and then, I don't know, maybe this has to do with finances, and you're looking and your money is not right. We have Ace of Pentacles reversed. So, yeah, like I was saying earlier, you have some idea, and I don't know if it's in, this might be the past for some of you guys where there's some idea that you had that's actually a pretty good idea. You're going to see some material gain from it when you decide to act on it or if you're acting on it now. You're going to see material gain. Okay? However, this is reversed, so there's going to be some sort of a delay. It may not come when you want it to. But you know what they say. It's always right on time. Hey. We have nine of swords. <laughs> you might be having some bad dreams about something. Um, you guys could be dealing with some issues from when, even childhood, issues that you may have put behind or tried to suppress them. These could be suppressed emotions or suppressed issues that you're dealing with now. In this reading, the Hermit card, to me, symbolizes the guide. Because what happens is, once you kind of hit rock bottom here, in a sense, not, it, it's bad, right? So you kind of, you're like, all right, I got to do something. So I think you go and you seek 
you seek yourself for guidance. Like you take the time, you take a minute, you see how can I move in knowledge, how can I move in, in you know, wisdom, knowledge, whatever. And I think you try and do that with the hermit card in this reading. Because after that we see that the world card, I mean, these are two major arcana cards, the world card is here. This means, and it's upright, you have everything in the world available to you. However, all right, and it's even in relation, this is pretty much, you have everything available to you. But you're worried, like, what kind of choice am I going to make? There's some choice that needs to be made here, okay? Um, and this could be where you feel the uncertainty. It's really funny because I see that you're on this journey with money where you have some realizations about money. I think that you also have some realizations about yourself. But then you take a step back. You find some way to go on. You move forward knowing that you have all these options available because you did prepare yourself for this success that's coming. I think you guys worked a long time to get to whatever this is. But I still feel like there's some uh, decision that needs to be made. You still feel like something is uncertain, like something I'm not aware of something. This could be the, um, it's too good to be true. Okay? But it's time to make a choice or a decision or there's something that you have to compromise about. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be taking a trip because we have eight of wands here. This talks about some kind of travel. It could be some kind of air travel. Um, this card also talks about you establish, establishing who you want to be in this role, wherever you are right now, in life right now, the role that you want to play. It also talks about you being concerned about how people view you. So I think that's where we have all the welcome change. And this is why I kind of feel like this is like a past tense or you're getting there or this could be your story. You're going to get to some sort of success that is just potent, right? Because you clearly put the work in, right? I think you're still a little, like, I don't know if this is real. I don't know if it's time to release negativity. I'm just, you're being advised that it's time to release negativity. This is full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio also comes up again. Intensify, exposing, purging, renewing. All right. Well, we have the Ten of Coins reversed, so that suggests that you've had some sort of success in your life. You're being advised that you need to stay active and not just sit down and do things like watch TV because you can. You need to get up and do something. You still need to be of service in a sense. Okay. Now, there's something that you have to make your mind up about. I want to see what your um. I want to see what your energy is because. Remember, these cards also talk about renewal. Remember, we have renewal. We have to release negativity. So whatever negative feelings you were having, um, maybe maybe that's why you went hermit and you started trying to figure things out. Because it says that you're going to surrender. There's some kind of welcoming change. There's something, and this might be after your transformation, or there's something that you just like, I can't do this anymore. You surrender. And you welcome the change. You're like, you, you feel relieved. You want to renew something. You also want to start something new. That's pretty good. All right, let me leave those right there. Okay. And I'm just going to get your energy and love really quick. Okay. Pisces, energy and love, please. Hang on, guys. Oof. Ancestors. Pisces, energy and love, please. Pisces, energy and love, please. Ancestors, please help me understand what they want in terms of love. What renewal? Tell me. Is this with a person or... Hmm. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. It's time to release negativity. Ancestors. Oh, I'm going to get these one more ancestors give me another card for Pisces please a card for Pisces please mm, mm, mm. you still feel like you whoever this person is that you're thinking about renewing with you still can't trust them you still feel like there are some things that are have been left out by this person this person could be an air sign all right and it's really funny because Pisces we also see this air sign right we have air, and we also have you right there, the moon. And then we have deception. Just saying, somebody could have deceived you about something. And maybe you don't believe this person, or there's, some, there's something where this person deceived you. They're wearing a false mask, and you know it. 
but you're trying to forgive them, but you still feel like there's some sort of deception. So I feel like this is you trying to figure out um, whether or not you actually want to be in this connection. Ancestors, give me one more for Pisces, please. One more for Pisces. Okay, we also have, we have all the fixed signs here. Mm. Your love life is being affected by children. Mm -hmm. That could be literal. That could be. Mm. Now, some of y'all could have been deceived about a child or children being yours. You have to let go of control issues. This came out reverse. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So whatever the, this situation is having to do with children or somebody feeling like they've been deceived, I'm, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to forgive. I'm trying to release the negative energy. I think even though you might be sitting like a fat cat, right, with money and you might be successful, I think people fail to realize that affairs of the heart take just as much emotion as, you know, it's the same thing. So I think that even though you might be okay in that area, I think there might be struggles with renewal. Now this could be a husband, this could be a wife, long-term partner, whoever, right? It's time to release negativity towards him, towards this situation. Um, this might have to do with children. You're trying to let go. You still feel like there's some things you don't know. What you're being advised is that you need to just let things play out the way they're supposed to. Do not aggravate the situation. And you'll get your answers. Now, if this has to do with some of you being deceived about children. I don't know. Good luck with that. I don't know what to say to that. However, these cards do. Pioneer in spirit. I got my idea up off the ground. Intensity, explosion, purging. I'm going to clean myself out. I'm going to see what my issues are. I'm going to do the work I have to do on myself. And I'm purging all of that stuff so I can renew something. I surrender. I welcome this change. Hmm. So maybe those are some of the things that you guys could be dealing with. We're just going to pull. I'll pull another card. Messages. I'll pull messages for you. God, it's just that, you know, my camera game is whack. It's not good. Okay. Ancestors, please. Ancestors, please give me messages for. Now, mind you, too, guys. Mm. I don't know. Ancestors, we got Virgo here. We got a lot of air coins. Hold up. Okay. Let me shuffle these. Things. A lot of Scorpio here. Mm -hmm. Ancestors. Mm -hmm. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I see Virgo, yep. Mm. Virgo's here a couple of times. Everything's okay. Don't worry. Ooh, look at this. I'm going to do that. Look. Stop. Everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. The funny thing is, where's that? Um, Yeah. So this one here. I'm sorry. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. Confirmation. Okay. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Okay, guys. Love you. Bye.